Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The close range meta right now in Warzone features a lot of variety between a handful of different weapon categories, different styles of weapons, whether you're focusing solely on close range dominance, like run and gun always up in the enemy's faces, maybe a little bit more sniper support. And today I wanted to break down the entirety of the close range meta, the best weapons in it, and of course the best loadouts for those best weapons. And I want to start first with a couple of different conversion kits that are absolutely incredible. The first of which is going to be the bp50 conversion kit turns it into an smg its first damage range has an incredibly fast ttk so this thing shreds whether you're using it as like a secondary to a solid rifle or an lmg or as a more aggressive sniper support option even here obviously most important part of this setup is going to be this revenger kit completely changes how this weapon behaves and it also does turn into smg ammo as well so you don't have to worry about doubling up on ar or anything unfortunately the revenger kit takes away like the vast majority of your attachment options so i do have the trust for grip tape hurts your idle sway that doesn't matter with where we're fighting uh you know 10 20 meters max really uh that idle sway is not going to be a huge impact but you're getting better control and better firing aim stability so it's keeping it accurate right high grain rounds extends out that effective damage range 14 meters for the absolute fastest ttk is pretty solid and 600 velocity means your hit scan range is going to be pretty effective as well we got the kimura laser sight on here for a faster ads and sprint to fire just to keep it aggressive then i like using the zem 35 compensator on here uh some decent control benefits small reductions to your ads speed and your velocity that aren't really a huge deal all things considered so this is a really really easy but also really effective close range option now arguably the best conversion in the game is the mcw conversion kit turning this from an ar into more of an ar smg hybrid it does still use rifle ammo but it's way more aggressive and really is meant around that like sniper support style of gameplay so so good in its first couple of damage ranges so again here we got the raven kit completely changing how this weapon behaves from the top down the 40 round extendamag is the max with the conversion kit which is a bit unfortunate but you have to live with it it's the max option here so of course you're going to be running that don't love the iron so i go for a reflector sight you could also use a nidar or a slate or a glassless really whatever optic you're the most comfortable with there the new paracord under barrel works great for situations like this where it's offering some control so the uh, weapon is just way more predictable but then also some decent movement so you still stay decently aggressive as well and lastly sonic suppressor the control on here is not awful especially with like the paracord and whatnot on there but you do also get better range and better velocity out of this this thing definitely could use even more velocity if that were an option but this is the best that we can get out of that and it's still keeping it easy to use and very effective this is by far one of my favorite weapons in the entire game honestly next up we've got the static hv and this thing is crazy effective as an smg whether you're fighting at 10 15 20 25 meters it has incredibly good range decent recoil and it's ttk if you're able to hit upper body shots is one of the best in the entire game and arguably the best in class if you are able to consistently hit those upper body shots right so first up here zem 35 compensator kind of a mainstay on a lot of my subclasses same reasons as before paracord under barrel for the same reasons as before as well really good mobility benefits but also even better control you can never complain about that two for one the long barrel is just so good and really too good not to use in this case yes it slows you down a little bit but 25% increase to your damage range and your velocity is insane. This makes this such a versatile SMG. I'm way more accurate with the NIDAR model 2023 than I am the irons. Even though I like the irons, I'm just hitting more shots with this. That's kind of a no-brainer. Then light stock to close things out, just even better mobility here. So you're relatively fast. You got good strafe speed here, and you can just melt players with this thing. It's one of my new favorite options as well. And of course, right alongside the static, we've got to talk about the Supri, which is still going strong. A little bit slower than it was before, but still one of the fastest SMGs. And definitely with a movement-based build like this, you're able to break ankles. You're able to really surprise enemies and still take them down with a really fast TTK throughout. So I got the light barrel on here. This focuses on strafe speed, minimal con to like your hip fire and stuff it is what it is not really a huge deal uh paracord under barrel better strafe but also the better control sprint to fire and whatnot on there high grain rounds extends out that effective damage range you get a great velocity on this as well 40 round extended mag very basic very straightforward and then the cutthroat stock better strafe some slightly better movement speed hurts your recoil a little bit but this is still a really easy build to use all things considered if you're active here on the channel and watching the loadout videos consistently to see what changes this is a build that really hasn't changed in some time because if it ain't broke 
don't fix it right by the way as we are breaking down all the weapons and setups here today if you are new to the channel or maybe you have not subscribed yet let's change that every single day this is your one-stop shop for news updates patch notes meta breakdowns absolutely everything going on in cod i got you covered with on a daily basis so feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and if you enjoy this video if you find it helpful at all be sure to drop a like it really does help grow the channel much love to everyone who takes the time to do so next up here we've got the fjx horus yes this did catch some range nerfs with season five a little bit ago but its first damage range still has the fastest ttk basically in the smg category so if you're talking true close range i mean this kind of fits that definition very very nicely again we got this m35 compensator on here i like the long barrel extending out that damage range out to about 10 meters for that faster ttk kind of reminds me of the original wasp swarm back when warzone first launched of course uh decent velocity on here but also some better control out of that too we got the 60 round extended mag 48 would be all right but this thing's got a fast fire rate so if you can use the 60 it's definitely worth it uh and at our model 2023 yet again just don't really love the irons here then the ripper light stock for some better strafe general sprint to fire decent movement ads could be faster here you kind of just got to live with that unfortunately but for a good like pre-aim based build or if you're adsing a lot this is a really effective close range option now the wasp 9 is also still a phenomenal choice incredibly easy to use all things considered pretty forgiving as well got a decent magazine size decent damage per mag and a pretty fast ttk through its first damage range or so again we've got this m35 compensator almost like this is a really efficient compensator for the close range dr6 hand stop would work here if you're going for a faster ads speed which this thing definitely needs which is actually why i go uh for that over the paracord in this case the ads speed just is not that fast so you definitely want to speed that up where you can high grain rounds on here extends out that damage range to almost 18 meters 590 velocity is pretty solid for a sub two 50 round extended mag as mentioned then the reflector sight yet again not a fan of the bulky irons nidar would work here slate once more whatever optic you are the most comfortable with but yeah wasp 9 has been a top sub for some time and it still is right now as well now the spaz 12 aka the reclaimer 18 is also a great close range option here uh this build can be used in pump action where you can actually get pretty consistent two pump knocks or you can use it in semi-auto where you can spam it a little bit more its range changes around a little bit but it's also still very effective there too so you can kind of use it in whatever way you are the most comfortable i would use the same build pretty much across the board though the full choke will extend out that damage range so you get that better opportunity for like two shot knocks and whatnot the 900 heavy barrel better range as well that's the most important part of that the Kimura laser just helps out with your general attack stance spread I would personally recommend using this in tax stance whether you're using pump or semi-auto just because it sort of like negates auto attack sprint I feel like you have better movement with that in general just makes it a little bit easier to use in my opinion this does also help out the sprint to fire though as well dragon's breath ammo is toxic as it is does also help out with that two shot range and then no stock just for some better mobility so you're nice quick agile aggressive across the board does again help out with hip fire and tack stance alike so yes shotguns are toxic but this one objectively is very very good hey everyone real quick wanted to give a shout out to my friends over at control freak i've been using control freak thumbsticks on my controllers for years now like honestly i feel like i can't play without them at this point uh getting that better grip on your thumbsticks extending your range of motion making it easier to be accurate and to stay accurate truly it is a game changer so if you ever want to pick up a pair for yourself tossing code immortal at checkout and you'll get a nice little discount the link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested now unfortunately the holger amp as i'm recording this video is busted on the main menu it won't let you actually equip this but hopefully by the time this video is uploaded this will be fixed because the holger amp so long as your sights are aimed down is crazy this thing absolutely melts but as far as the attachments go since unfortunately i can't go through and fully break them down one by one because of the gunsmith bug we are using that burnout aftermarket part the ascent lord stock for some better control not our model 2023 just for that better optic there the high grain rounds to extend out our uh, effective damage range then the vertical grips are pretty good option here for control a little bit of movement as well so a bit of a unique setup but also a really really fast ttk one too and then lastly here i've got the striker this thing is an incredibly versatile smg pretty solid in the close range but also really good in the mid range as well so as a sniper support option this would be viable but also just as a really consistent an smg this is a great choice too as a nice pairing with a rifle or an lmg or whatever your main primary of choice might be i do have the light stock on here 
tad bit better mobility nothing too significant but it's a little bit faster with that on there 60 round extendamag very basic paracord on her barrel works great in this case for better control better strafe speed faster uh sprint to fire however the ads again here is not super super fast so you could use dr6 hand stop as well and that'd be a very viable replacement long barrel will help out with range velocity even better than high grain wood in this case because it doesn't really have as strict of cons then we also got zem 35 yet again what a surprise i know but yeah between all these options here today some sniper support some of the general close range the overall close range meta here has a lot of pretty fun choices depending on your play style that is going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new here hit that subscribe button on your way out so you can always guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in call of duty but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out